lemons welcome back to another video of mine so i have some good news my account is back sorta i'll explain what i mean in a little bit but for anyone who didn't already know my account lehman puppy was deleted from animal jam the person who deleted it was unknown and there's no real reason as to why they did it other than to cause mayhem and drama in the community there were people claiming to be the ones who deleted my account saying they did by emailing ajhq those rumors went around for a while, but they were false. My account was deleted from the parent account settings dashboard from somebody who apparently had no real beef with me, or at least that's what I was told by someone anonymous, and I believed them. They knew information about the situation only I had known. Basically, before my account Lehman Puppy deleted, the trading feature turned off on its own, and my language was changed to something that wasn't English. I honestly can't remember what the language was, but I couldn't understand it. And at the time, I thought this was odd, but I didn't do anything about it other than just changing back my language and trading feature back on. Although I was told by the anonymous person that the person who did delete my account was also messing with these exact settings. So that's why I'm almost positive this was how my account got deleted and that it wasn't by the person who claimed to email HHQ. Also, Animal Jam confirmed that this was how my account was deleted as well, as they did a lot of research on the case. It took around four weeks, but it was also because it was such a complicated situation. They needed the time to find out how my account was deleted and also find the lost data from Lehman Puppy. And yeah, that's right. That brings us to what my account is now. Obviously, my username is different. It's not Lehman Puppy anymore. It's now Lehman Puppy Official. But with that said, I have received most of the data I lost, which means I've got my animals, my dens, my pets, my clothing and den items back. My level is now restarted at level one. I honestly don't really care about my level that much, so it doesn't affect me. But for anyone wondering, I was level 42 on my old Lehman Puppy account. Also, I don't have any of my old buddies from Lehman Puppy, which is a bit sad since I had some players who had stopped playing Animal Jam. Although, again, it's not something I really cared about too much. I can easily just buddy back most of my lost buddies. Also, sort of strange, but I guess they lost my My Shops? So I don't have any my shops anymore. I had around three or four of them beforehand. I just assumed they were like any other item, but potentially they're programmed differently because that's the only items that were lost. Anyway, that's all for what data I lost. But again, I got back the data I was wanting, like animals, dens, items. So I'm really happy with what Animal Jam HQ was able to recover. I just wanted to thank HHQ and their team for helping me out. They worked so hard to figure this whole situation out and they were very helpful. I also want to thank some of the Jambasters that reached out to me and helped HHQ on figuring out the details in my case, going as far to having a meeting to discuss the situations of me and Kijikon. And of course, I want to thank all my subscribers who were so supportive during this time. I was very upset over the loss of my account, but you all cheered me up throughout the weeks, so thank you so much. There's a few things I want to clear up before ending this video. First thing is Kujikon's case. For anyone who didn't know, the YouTuber Kijikon was hacked and couldn't get on his Animal Jam account for around the time mine was deleted. A lot of people compared these two issues to each other, and yes, it was strangely happened around the same time. Although, we don't know if the same person went after both of us or not. And Kijikon's account was brought back very soon after, whereas mine took four weeks. Lots of people kept saying it was weird that mine was taking longer to recover, but the thing is, they were completely different situations. My account was deleted off the parent dashboard. Kujikon's account was hacked and he couldn't get on it, which was just a quicker, easier fix. My situation needed more time to research and dig up for the lost info. Another thing I need to clarify is a common question I kept getting from people in the Animal Jam community. Someone asked if AJHQ plays favoritism for its more popular jammers on the game. Honestly, I don't think that's true. Animal Jam gets a lot of DMs and support tickets, and they do try their absolute best to help everybody. I mean, they did take four weeks to solve my issue after all. That's not exactly the quickest operation. Although, I have to be honest, I do think they really focused on my case in particular, but that was because so, so many jammers DM'd them to help me out. It wasn't the fact that I had DM'd them, but more so the fact a bunch of my viewers saw the video and were concerned for my account, and they had received a bunch of messages from people, which I'd imagined got a little annoying for AJHQ to deal with at the time. With so many people being concerned for my account, I think they did see it as an important issue to solve, but that doesn't mean they weren't helping other people out during the time they helped me. I mean, I would know. Sometimes they take around a week to give me a support ticket response. 
because they are constantly helping all sorts of players on the game. That's why they don't always respond right away. They are very busy, and I don't think it matters if you are a popular YouTuber or Instagram player, as again, they always try to help everyone with whatever situations they have. Also, my videos aren't always a positive take on AJHQ, but they still helped me out. They still took time to look into my whole situation and bring a lot of my account data back. Even if I make those kind of videos, I'm still a jammer like any other. One, they will help when I need it. And they don't look at those factors because they can't. I'm allowed to have my own opinions and voice. They wouldn't just not help me because of the content I make. They are a company and can't take advantage of their power like that. They can't just delete somebody's account because they made a video on YouTube about how two snakes look the same, or any other videos that criticize the game, because the player didn't do anything wrong on the game, so deleting their account or banning them would be unacceptable on so many levels. Also, AlmajamHQ was so concerned for my account and the worries of the community, and they worked so hard to solve the case. They don't play any favoritism or not help a player because of the content they make for the game. Anyway, I just thought I'd clarify this all, and again, I am so happy to finally have my account and most of its data back. I am now known as Lehman Puppy Official, so please be aware of that when you're on the game. Any other usernames with Lehman Puppy in them are not me. But yeah, I think that wraps up this video. I hope I covered everything I needed to. I had a lot to discuss, as many things happened over these past four weeks. Also, for anyone who didn't know, yes, I am still making videos. I couldn't really upload for a while since I didn't have an Animal Jam account, which meant I was out of the loop for Animal Jam news, and also couldn't really screen record game footage, but that's all fixed now, so I will be continuing with my occasional videos I make for Animal Jam. Thanks for watching, it's been Liam Puppy, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys all next time.